What's up guys, welcome back to Batman Flashpoint Paradox. This is a Patreon request from Emmanuel over on Patreon. If you have a specific request you'd like me to do, head over to Patreon. You don't have to sign up forever. You can sign up once, uh, send me the request, and then cancel your membership. That's totally cool also. So, landscape page, use pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So, this is kind of simply designed, so not a lot of detail uh, in the character, so it's kind of easier to draw, I guess. So, center point of my page is here. Come up over to the right. I'm going to start with his frown, right? So, a heavy sort of tick frown line that goes down that way. Same on the other side. Heavy tick that way. And you can see, like, his brow sort of area that comes up the side of his mask. Like that kind of thing. Doesn't have to be the exact same both sides. And then he could have some frown lines just coming across here like for his forehead he has red eyes underneath right so we can just see starting here go across up and then in same thing on this side down lots of angles so it goes across his cheek and then up to the corner of his eye and back in now, so his mask real pointy, so we got like a V just here for where his nose is, right? Like so. And this will go around like this. Around kind of his cheekbone area, right? So this goes up and into there. This goes up and into there. And then we have the line for the middle of his nose, just comes down. And then there's like some extra lines kind of, well, there isn't in the show, but I think he needs them. So there's like some, just for the side of his nose, just here. Right, just kind of coming down from this. And then maybe like some extra sort of frown lines or something here and something going up the middle. Maybe some eyelid lines. Okay, so the top half of his mask then continues up like so, up to his bat ears, spiking down there. Do the same thing on this side, spiking up under there. And his head curves around here, like so. Bit of marker there, smudged. Typical. Da -da -da. Bottom half of his face then, so. Yeah, so we'll do his mouth, right? So just real serious. It's like a letter M, capital letter M, just kind of stretched out. And then his bottom lip, again, a real sort of serious, big, like that, big bottom lip. And then he's got a big square chin just below. Okay. Like proportions of things are still standard human, so eyes to the bottom of his nose is about the same as bottom of the nose to the chin right so the nose is about halfway between eyes to the chin so here to here about the same as about there and then nose to the bottom lip line is about the same as bottom lip line to the chin so that's halfway between here and here roughly okay we can go for your jaw so the jaw is real like exaggerated so it like curves curves out this way right and then goes up like so Okay, so crazy strong sort of comic book jaw. And then his mask comes in here, both sides. And then we will bring it down, around to the bottom of his face. Kind of just goes around his chin a little bit underneath. But you can't see much of that. And then you got the side of his face, cheek lines that come down from like the edge of your nostrils. Like so, so it makes him look real, sort of old or something. He's incredibly muscular as well. So his neck comes down from his ears, pretty much. So like up here, right? So like, I mean, his human ears, not the bat ears. Right, you've got neck muscles inside here. And maybe an Adam's apple. Real big trapezius muscles that come out this way. 
So he is definitely hitting the weights. I think that might be, no, that's his collarbone. Sorry, so like his collarbone comes across like this way, say. But it, it like becomes a cape as well. I'm gonna put some like hatching just here just to show that that's his like trapezius. Maybe another neck muscle line there and there. <clears throat> so his cape has these spikes on the corners, right? So go like this way, right? And then there's a spike up here. And the same sort of on this side. Then the inside of the cape is just like here in the middle. It goes down around the back of his shoulder. Uh, it disappears around there. And then we have like some fold lines that go back this way. All right, that kind of stuff. Same over here. Meow. And then these four lines. Doesn't have to be the same on both sides. So that's an important thing to know. Animators rarely keep their characters exactly the same on both sides because it's kind of more interesting when they're not the same. More dynamic is what, it's, what they would say. Okay, so his bat is here in the middle of the chest. For some reason, it's slightly left. So it's not like bang in the middle. Yeah. Maybe it's not supposed to be. Okay, so we'll, we'll do an ear here. See how we go. Another one here. And then the wings. Are there spikes on top? No, so it goes, curves out that way. Curves out that way. Now that's shorter. And then this goes down there. And this goes down there. And then we have two spikes on the bottom. One, two, and then a big one in the middle. And then we go one, two, Ooh, missed one, oops, All right, so we'll, we'll put another one here, that's a mistake, there should be another spike, sorry, simple mistake, and I'll just, you can erase that line, and then he's a red circle around the bass, it's not a perfect circle, so it makes it easier for us, just goes around like that. And then his chest muscles, right? So his chest kind of comes down here and then crazy big chest and abs, right? So it's, this is like his abs actually, and then ab muscle there. So then his chest is like, yeah, that's like his stomach. So then the chest is more up here. Look this way. Okay. And his biceps crazy big go down here. And you could have some more sort of lats and rib lines and stuff there. And then just his trapezius triceps, should I say. Maybe these crazy big muscles. So like the little bicep muscles are there and there. Doop. So ridiculously big arms. <laughs> But that's how big they are. So, there he is. Batman from Flashpoint Paradox. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for the request, Emmanuel. Anyone else with a Patreon request, head over to Patreon. Give it a go. You can even send me the images that you would like me to draw. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.